Calling for help and applying oxygen are the default emergency actions in a laryngectomy emergency. Next, we must assess the patency of the laryngectomy stoma. Not all laryngectomies will have a tracheostomy or laryngectomy tube in situ, and you are likely to be faced with an open stoma. Some patients use stoma covers, like the one shown here. These can help with humidification of inspired gas. Some patients will have had a tracheoesophageal puncture valve sighted. These valves can allow speech by forcing expired gas through into the pharynx and out through the mouth. Stoma covers can become blocked and should be removed in an emergency, whereas tracheoesophageal puncture valves should never be removed in an emergency. Suction can be performed via a tube sitting in the laryngectomy stoma or directly into the open stoma itself. Remember if there is a tube present, remove and clean the inner tube first. If a suction catheter will not pass, deflating any cuff that's present may help to improve the situation, followed by a reassessment by look, listening and feeling at the laryngectomy stoma and using relevant monitoring.